We met, Josh and I met, at a party in January 2012, I think, or 2011. Um, a friend of mine was having people come over for a glug party. It was this really gross port wine, rum, fruit, warm alcohol drink that they drank out in the Midwest. And so she wanted to share that tradition with her friends out in the Lake Norman area where I was living. And maybe halfway through the party, um, Josh showed up with a group of friends that I never met Josh before, never met his friends before. And we were playing some games at the party and talked very briefly, chatted. Um, and then they didn't stay long. They stayed maybe 20 minutes, half hour. And as he was leaving, he asked for my number. And I thought, well, okay, what do I have to lose? You know, we had some nice conversation and um, why not give him a chance? So I gave him my number and the next day he got in touch with me, wanted to take me out. I got really nervous. And I said, well, I can't meet tonight or tomorrow, but maybe, you know, on Monday. And that Monday he took me out and we've been together ever since. So our first date, I call it just an epic first date. Um, we met at a sushi restaurant um, not too far from where I lived. And I had only had sushi one time before. And I um, was open to trying it again, but didn't tell him I had no idea what I was ordering. So he went to the bathroom and I quickly asked the sushi chef, what do I order? I have no idea what to, to get. Um, and from there, we had just such a good time talking. He said, would you like to see a movie? Because there's a movie theater right across from the sushi restaurant. So we decided to see a movie, but there was about an hour break in between finishing dinner and the movie. So we went to a wine bar, had a glass of wine, still chatted, realized we had all sorts of stuff in common, and then went to see, I believe it was The Tourist, with uh, Angelina Jolie, Johnny Depp maybe. Um, and now after that we said, you know, I had such a great time, I'd love to see you again, and um, second date soon followed. So if I never told you I've always been attracted to Katie. I especially remember our first date at Ease, sitting at the sushi bar and, and seeing her walk in the door and um, and was like, wow, <laughs> she gave me her number. <laughs> I was a little, a little taken back, um, and uh, she's just gorgeous. And then when you have her personality thrown into that, uh, it's just been a great combination. I mean, that's why I'm marrying her. <laughs> there's, uh, there's always been both the attraction and just the, the love of her personality and her, uh, just being and who, sh who she is. I knew and fought it a lot earlier than um, he did. It was actually our second date and we once again just had great conversation, all sorts of things in common and I had to um, go use the restroom and something in, when I left him, a voice came over that wasn't mine and said, you just met your husband. And I got all giddy and chills and I was like, that's just ridiculous. This is our second date. You gotta calm down. Um, so we, we dated for a very long time, took things very slow, um, but it was in that moment, I, something just overcame me that I knew I, I met my husband. I proposed in Belmont. Uh, it was kind of a last second thing because we had planned something the week before and uh, she wasn't feeling well. We were going to go up to the mountains. But then when it got to the, the point of it and um, I wanted to propose, I didn't feel that it no longer needed to be planned out because I was so anxious to propose. I um, kind of put it together that I would take her out to dinner in Be downtown Belmont at the the fancy restaurant that they have there, a little steakhouse. And uh, so we ate 
our steak dinner and we walked down to the Belmont Stowe Park and uh, there's supposed to be this beautiful fountain that's lighted and technicolor changing light schemes and all this great you know romantic thought I had but once we get down to the fountain it's closed it's got caution tape all around it and uh, there's these punk skateboarders skateboarding right by it and uh, so I, I didn't do it right there by the fountain because I didn't want the skateboarders to turn around and make fun of me. So I uh, actually ended up walking up the hill slight the way and uh, bent down on one knee. I kind of did it quickly because the skateboarders are still in the background and I had the, uh, the ring in my pocket and I reached into the pocket right then. I knew she knew I was going to propose. Got down on one knee asked her to marry me she said yes we kind of got up it's almost like it didn't happen because we just it just kept walking and uh, I mean she knew I was gonna propose um, but it, it it was funny it was it's a story I, I guess you could say the things that I love and admire about Josh is um, just the way he's he loves his family he has an amazing family and my family is very close my parents have been together since they were young and teenagers and his parents met in college and have been together and so just strong family values and that that's what he wants to um, really goes a long way and I think that's what attracted both of us to each other was just a strong sense of family and what it takes to make it work that we're not going to give up on each other and that um, I know he's reliable and loyal and just so honest brutally honest sometimes um, and just his his love for me, I know that might sound a little <laughs> selfish, but um, I never have to doubt how much he loves me and, and puts me first and um, just cares for me and loves me. He makes me feel wonderful. My hopes for the future with Josh is just to continue to grow our, our love and admiration and respect for each other, to explore the world, um, to have a great family, um, raise children together. He's gonna make an awesome dad. Um, maybe have two kids, that would be a nice, well-balanced family, I think. Um, and just, yeah, just, just growing more in love and sharing our love with another generation. Uh, she's very loving, very, uh, she loves to surprise me. Um, for example, I go away every now and then for my work and I'll get to my hotel or wherever my destination is and I'll look in my, my bag that I, I pack myself, but she'll hide little goodies in there, cards you know, telling me that she misses me. And this is just a hope for the future. I'm hoping it's very bright, um, full of two kids. Um, we both would like to have two kids. I'm leaning towards boys, but uh, a girl and a boy wouldn't be bad, I guess. Uh, we have this beautiful house. I would love to live in this house for 35, I could live there until I die, to be honest. Josh, I promise to give my all to you, my 100%, my love, my time, my respect, my devotion and loyalty. Um, I promise to let you watch FIFA whenever the World Cup comes. I promise to um, continue to cook delicious meals for you. Um, I promise to just continue to keep you laughing and, and happy. And um, I promise to grow old with you. Katie, I promise I will always love you. Uh, sickness and in health and I promise to you that no matter what happens I will always love you and take care of you uh, till the day I die Maybe the best thing I have done is learning to love someone like I love you like I love Just assume you know it's true So if 
if I never told you I love you Your skin So smooth Against my Tell you all the things inside my head. There's so much I have left unsaid. If I've ever left you in doubt, let me lay it down to rest. Maybe the best thing I have done. Learning to love someone Like I love you Like I love you And maybe the worst thing I could do Is just assume you know it's true So if I 